Hey, what's up, Braves? It's me, Henry. And to be honest, it's been a couple of weeks since we've seen each other. Have you missed us? Of course y'all did. Stay tuned for a hot new episode of your favorite student news. Hot like ghost peppers, muy caliente. The SMS, SMS Chop Shop, 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 Shop. Go, Go Braves! Braves. classroom screens in HD. In 4K, let's go. Today on Chop Shop, we're gonna be talking about what's going on school campus. Miss Jones, vocals during the Black History Program. The soccer team got a chance to visit the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Women's History, Miss Maya Angelou, and I Still Rice. Rice. In world news, did you know that there's a 13-foot shark off the coast of North Carolina? The turn of bad TikTok, scream emoji, scream emoji, scream emoji. Professional sports, NCAA men's final four. NCAA women's final four. In entertainment news, Lady Gaga plays a familiar Gotham character. New Zelda play game, gameplay. Valid facts, the original hot fries. This weekend health and fitness, Farmer Carey. And finally, a special interview. So without further ado, let's, let's get go. right into today's episode. Let's go. Enjoy. Okay, bye. Peace. Hey, what's up, Braves? It's Clardy. Check out the great vocals of our very own Miss A. Jones, 8th grade, Team A, math teacher. Children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier. Let the children laughter remind us how we used to be. Everybody searching for a hero who needs someone to look up to. Never found anyone who fulfilled my needs A lonely place to be And so I learned to depend on me I decided long ago Never to walk in anyone's shadow If I fail, if I succeed Hey Braves, it's me, Henry, filling in for Kennedy. And recently, the soccer team visited Mercedes-Benz Stadium and had the chance to see Atlanta United live and in action. Take a look. What a great experience. Go, Go Braves! Braves! Jacqueline and Marbella, what's up in history this week? Meet me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still like dust, 
I'll arise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Just because I walk as if I have oil wells pumping in my living room. <laughs> Just like moons and like suns with the certainty of tides. Just like hope springing high. Still I rise. By my soulful cries. Does my sassiness upset you? <laughs> Don't take it so hard just cause I laugh as if I have gold mines digging in my own backyard. You can shoot me with your words. You can cut me with your lies. You can kill me with your hatefulness, but just like life, I rise. Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past rooted in pain, I rise, a black ocean leaping and wide, welling and swelling and bearing in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise, into a daybreak miraculously clear, I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the hope and the dream of the slave, and so. There I go. <laughs> Saint Henry, March is Women's History Month. This week we celebrate a master of the poetry, Ms. Maya Angelou, according to womenshistory.org. On April 4th, 1928, Margaret Anna Johnson, known to the world as Maya Angelou, was born in St. Louis, Missouri. Throughout her childhood, she wrote essays, poetry, and even kept a journal. Angelou was also noted for her talents as a singer, and dancer, particularly in Colasso and Carvet styles. In 1950s, she performed professionally in the U.S., Europe, and Northern Africa and sold albums of her recordings. That's right, Jacqueline. According to womenshistory.org, in 1969, Miss Angelou published I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, not a biography of her early life. Her tale of personal strength and amid childhood trauma and racism resonated with readers and was nominated for the National Book Award. She wrote numerous poetry volumes in 1972. She became the first African-American woman to have her screenplay turned into a film. President Clinton awarded Ms. Angelou the National Medal of Arts in 2000. In 2011, President Barack Obama awarded Angelou the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Thanks, my brother Jacqueline. And Adita, evil villains are now attacking the ocean, sending big sharks up our coasts. Attacking our oceans? Sir, what are you talking about? Yes, puny mortal. Brian Brayton, a 13-foot shark, is swimming up the coast of North Carolina. According to CNN.com, Brayton is one of the dozen sharks being tracked by Ocean Search, a non-profit non marine research group which provides open source data about shark migration. All search first tagged Brayton near Nova Sota in September 2020 with an electric tracker, which pings whenever he breaks the water surface. Sharks are being sharks being tracked by all sharks also reached the North Carolina coast. Seaman and Jekyll, both eight foot long male white sharks, pinged near Palomo Sound Saturday. No time to spare to the Esteban submarine. I think the sharks are just blocking their food source, but okay, sir. Anywho, the Senate has proposed a bill that will ban TikTok in the U.S., according to CNN.com. Senator Mark Warner, the head of the Senate Intelligence Committee, introduced the bipartisan bill with Senator John Thune that would enable the federal government to ban or prohibit foreign technology such as the China-owned TikTok over concerns so that such online platforms can be used to garner intelligence or spread propaganda. Warner said the proposed restrict act, which targets technology connected to foreign governments that pose a threat to national security, but does not single out TikTok. Has the support of 22 senators which are with a breakdown of 11 Democrats and 11 Republicans. Wow, they really want to get rid of TikTok, don't they? A retired human! Turns out Brandon is a good shark and he was just doing his annual migration following his source of food. That's what I... Never mind. Hey, Arlene and Rashid, what's going on in sports? 
Thanks for the and Asibin in sports news, the NCAA Men's March Madness Tournament has been very unpredictable. If you are unfamiliar with the tournament, it was created in 1939 by the National Association of Basketball Coaches and was the idea of Ohio State's coach Harold Olsen. Played mostly during March, it has become one of the most popular annual sporting events in the United States. The tournament consists of 68 teams competing in seven rounds of single elimination brackets. 32 teams automatically qualify for the tournament by winning their conference tournament. This year's final four will take place April 1st with San Diego State, Florida, Atlanta, Miami and Yukon. Yep, the NCAA Women's Final Four is this Friday, March 31st, versus Iowa, LSU, South Carolina, and Virginia Tech. According to History.com, the women's tournament first held in 1982 started with 32 teams expanding to 64 teams before the 1994 season. In 1994, North Carolina defeated Louisiana Tech 60 to 59 for the championship in the first 64 team women NCAA tournament. Let's make sure we support the hard work of the ladies in sports. They have worked twice as hard to earn respect in major sports. Girl power. Hey Ian and Cynthia, what's happening in entertainment and tech? Thanks for sharing, Erlen. Lady Gaga is set to play the Joker's deadly sidekick, Harley Quinn, in the new. Joker film that is set to release next year. The 2019 film grossed one billion and earned star Joaquin Phoenix a Best Actor Oscar. Filming is underway in New York and Los Angeles. Stay tuned for more production information and more updates on entertainment. The Joker is the top three villain for sure. In tech news, gaming news, upcoming Nintendo Switch exclusive, the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom dropped a 10 minute gameplay presentation. Take a look. Even if you struggle with combat, you can take down enemies using similar methods. In the previous game, you'd usually get powerful weapons by defeating strong enemies. But in this game, fusing even the weakest weapon with something else could turn it into a useful weapon. There are even more gameplay options for sticking things together. Let me demonstrate. Well, get ready to take a break from your PlayStation and pick up your Nintendo Switch because Zelda Tears of the Kingdom will release soon. Next up is Valid Facts. Welcome to your favorite segment, Valid Facts, where we review your favorite snacks and treats. Today we have Hot Fries. The original Hot Fries before Flaming Hot Fries arrived at the scene and it was Andy's Hot Fries. Surprisingly, a famous snack for many people that grew up in Atlanta. According to SnackHistory.com, an American snack company called Andy's Caps makes flavored corn and potato chips, I mean potato snacks, that would resemble french fries. The product was developed in 1971 by Goodmark Foods, INC, which obtained the name then image licensing from Publishers Hall's Senate for a comic printed on the back of the packing until recently. Con Conarget Foods brought Goodmark Foods in 1998, and the company continues to produce and market this I the item to, to this day. I'll link to that. Okay, they have to take. Wait a minute. What is the largest river in Georgia? Um. What protects the cell? I don't know. Name two oceans. Um, Atlantic Ocean and Indian Ocean. How many minutes is in an hour? Sixty minutes. Spell toxic. T O X I C. Who invented the telephone? Um. <laughs> Name three Super Mario characters. Mm. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Name, spell toxic. T-O-X-I-C. Spell spaghetti. S-P-I. Who invented the telephone? Uh, I don't know. The Dover Brothers. What protects a cell? Uh, I don't know. Are you ready? Right. What is the longest river in Georgia? I don't know. Wait for real? Oof. Name two oceans. Uh, the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. What's the river in Georgia? 
Uh, I don't remember. What president is on the five dollar bill? Abraham Lincoln. Spell spaghetti. S P E G G I T. Name three Super Mario characters. Um, I don't know any. Iron I Man. Know. Iron Man. I don't know. I know. I know. How many sides does a quadrilateral have? A quadrilateral is nine. <laughs> Who invented the telephone? It started with F. Mm-hmm. Right? It started with F. That's all I got. No, yeah. How many sides does a quadrilateral have? Um, six. What is the longest river in Georgia? Um, 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 the... Um, the Congo River! Spell spaghetti. S-P-A-G-H-E-T-T-I. Yes. What president is on the $5 bill? Um, what was that? What president is on the $5 bill? George Washington. Ready? Name two oceans. The Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. What's what is seven times nine? But I don't know. Stop it. <laughs> How many sides does a quadrilateral have? Four. Name three Super Mario characters. Luigi, uh, the princess, and... Uh, co starts with a K, I don't know, sorry. <laughs> Name three Super Mario characters. Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach. What's up, y'all? It's Kevin with Health and Fitness. Today we'll be reviewing a workout called Farmer Carry, a great functional muscle builder. Watch me and I will explain the benefits. To the program.com, the farmer carry is one of many loading exercises that consists of picking up weight and walking for distance. This exercise does not exactly what an athlete needs, create a stable core to give you a strong foundation for running, lifting, and gymnastics. Farmer carries also improve grip strength and shoulder stability. All good reasons to get fit, keep getting strong, fam. Stay tuned for more tips. Hello, my name is Kevin Mang. A federal judge ruled that Mike Pence testified to a grand jury about former President Donald Trump and in conversations he had with him leading up to the 6th of January 2021. The former vice president and his team is evaluating the court's decision. Donald Trump's conversation with Pence surrounding the Capitol attack happened to focus interest to investigators. People told the committee about a phone call with Pence the day of the attack in which Trump said insults at his vice president. Could this event impact Trump's outcome against Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in the Republican nomination? Stay tuned for more on Trump Trump's political corner from Kevin May. Well, I guess we're going to get up out of here and let y'all go back to learning. Tune in every Friday for school for updates on school news, sports, world news, and entertainment. Remember, Remember Sequoia students are brilliant, respectful, accountable, voracious, and engaged. We, we live. live! Okay, bye, because I'm tired. Okay, Please. so we're tired. Yeah. Word for the day, hello. Word for the day, If Rashida was here, you would be there. If Rashida was here, she would be black. Y'all just dissing our... What's up, Braves? It's Cardi. Check out the great. How was it? Boko. Thanks. Oh my God, I, was, I was about to say. According to CNN.com, Britain is one of the dozen charts being grouped, which provided open source state. Oh no, wait, I skipped a line. <laughs> Carry a great functional muscle builder. Watch me do. Watch me off. Ah.